assistive to our Mass this Sunday morning here in Helston. We are offering Mass today for the golden wedding anniversary of Mary and Alan Miles. We wish, wish them both uh, congratulations on this great milestone in their life together. We wish good health for Alan, who is not well at this time, and God's blessing on them both. Friends, to prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries, let us call to mind our sins. Have mercy on us, O Lord. We have sinned against you. Show us, O Lord, your mercy. And grant us your salvation. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest. And on earth, at least the people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You who are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. God of everlasting mercy, who in the very recurrence of the gospel feast, Kindle the faith of the people you have made your own. Increase, we pray, the grace you have bestowed, that all may grasp and rightly understand in what form they have been washed, by whose spirit they have been reborn, by whose blood they have been redeemed. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen.
I was punished. I was punished by the law, by the Lord, but not doomed to die. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his love has no end. The stone which the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. This is the work of the Lord, a marvel in our eyes. This day was made by the Lord. We rejoice and are glad. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his love has no end. A reading from the first letter of St. John. Whoever believes that Jesus is the Christ has been begotten by God. And whoever loves the Father that begot him loves the, loves the child whom he begets. We can be sure that we love God's children if we love God himself and do what he has commanded us. This is what loving God is, keeping his commandments. And his commandments are not difficult, because anyone who has been begotten by God has already overcome the world. This is the victory over the world, our faith. Who can overcome the world? Only the man who believes that Jesus is the Son of God, Jesus Christ who came by water and blood, not with water only, but with water and blood, with the Spirit as another witness, since the Spirit is the truth. This is the word of the Lord. We say the sequence together. Christians to the past of offer sacrifice and praise. The sheep are ransomed by the Lamb, and Christ, the Lamb of God, hath sinned to his Father, reverence us. The death of the life contended, come on us, strangely ended. Lives of the champion slain, yet live is to reign. Tell us, Mary, say we will be to see you on the way. The tomb the living did enclose. I saw Christ's glory as he rose. The angels there attesting, shrouded with great clothes resting. Christ, my hope, has risen. He gives us full in his agony. That Christ is truly risen from the dead, they may know. The victorious king. Hallelujah, hallelujah, Jesus said, you believe because you can see. Happy are those who have not seen and yet believe. Hallelujah. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. In the evening of that same day, the first day of the week, the doors were closed in the room where the disciples were, for fear of the Jews. Jesus came and stood among them. He said to them, Peace be with you and showed them his hand and his side. The disciples were filled with joy when they saw the Lord, and he said to them again, Peace be with you. As the Father sent me, so am I sending you. After saying this, he breathed on them and said, Receive the Holy Spirit. For those who sin you forgive, they are forgiven. For those who sin you retain, they are retained. Thomas, called the twin, who was one of the twelve, was not with them when Jesus when the disciples said, We have seen the Lord, he answered, Unless I see the holes that the nails made in his hands, and can put my finger into the holes they made, and unless I can put my hand into his side, I refuse to believe. Eight days later, the disciples were in the house again, and Thomas was with them. 
The doors were closed, but Jesus came in and stood among them. Peace be with you, he said. Then he spoke to Thomas. Put your finger here. Look, here are my hands. Give me your hands. Put it into my side. Doubt no longer but believe. Thomas replied, My Lord and my God. Jesus said to him, You believe because you can see me. Happy are those who have not seen and yet believe. There were many other signs that Jesus worked and the disciples saw, but they are not recorded in this book. These are recorded so that you may believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God, and that believing this, you may have life through his name. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. <coughs> there are those who think that the reason Thomas had doubts wasn't because he doubted the resurrection, but that he doubted that God's mercy could be so great that he would forgive those disciples who'd run away from our Lord, that he would forgive them and would come back and show himself to them. And that one of the aspects we celebrate in this Divine Mercy Sunday is that God's mercy is so immense, so great. And that he did, he did forgive them, that Jesus was prepared to come back to strengthen them, to tell them that he did have faith in them and to send them out to others. And of course, the same is true for us, that while we may have doubts about the appearance of God, we shouldn't, because just as the resurrection is a fact, so God's mercy is a fact. And the mercy we receive from our Lord is great. But just as he sends us out into the world to share the news of the resurrection, the gospel, the good news, so he sends us out into the world as well to share his mercy. We show that we are God's children by having mercy on all of God's children. That's what he asks us to do. That's explored a bit more in the homily. Please do take it home and read it all at home. We stand as we make together our profession of faith. During the Easter season, we study the Apostles' Creed, the Lord of Baptism. I believe in God and the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born in the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified and died in the Spirit. He descended into heaven. On the third day, He rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of all life, and life at the last. Amen. Do please sit down and be prepared. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Through the earth and by the human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God
Before we have to proceed to the Eucharistic prayer, we're very happy duty to perform, and that to admit Ian into the uh, Guild of St. Stephen, the Guild of Servants, thankfully. We were planning to do this just after Christmas, and I said, right, we'll do it next Sunday, and that Sunday he ended up in hospital, so we never got around with so I didn't tell him this time. Right. <laughs> we'll do it, and I'll not give him the chance to escape. So, um, here, would you like to come, to come forward? So, I ask you, what do you ask of God's church? The worship of the church is centered on the celebration of the Mass, but also includes other services of prayer and the administration of the sacraments, those who are ordained for this are bishops, priests, and deacons. But from earliest times, the Church has called other Christians to assist at these services, principally to help the ordained ministers, but also to be at the service of the entire Christian community. To be called to assist the Church in this manner is a privileged function should be carried out to the best of one's ability. We must always try to serve in such a way as to help everyone in the church to pray. Remember always the promises that you are about to make, to serve regularly at the times when you are asked, to serve with care and reverence, and above all to serve with understanding. A good server is the one who not only knows what to do, but also understands why it is being done. Try to learn more about the worship of the church in which you are being called to participate in a privileged way. My dear people, let us pray for all those who wish to be enrolled in the Guild of St. Stephen, but especially for Ian before us now. Let us ask God to bless you. Heavenly Father, bless this server who has been chosen to be a member of the Guild of St. Stephen. Grant that he may be faithful in his service at your altar, and that he may grow in faith and love. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. So I ask you, will you promise to do your best to serve regularly and particularly when needed? Will you promise to serve with care and reverence? Will you try to understand what you are doing when? Simon to join Ian as the servers make their declaration of service together. Will you say, I
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. You have made us in your image and likeness, and have placed us over all creation to use it for your glory. We ask you to bless this medal, which your servant will wear as a sign of service at your altar. <coughs> Here, receive this medal as a sign of your admission into the guild of the seamen, that with the help of his prayer, we may lead a good and holy life. I'm not allowed to put it on him.
mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the same passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oration of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim, by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself, from that we are nourished by the body and blood of your Son, and filled with his Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the blessed Joseph and Father, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with St. Michael and with all the saints, on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May the sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth. With your servant Francis, our hope and mark our bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To I depart your brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you as their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory, through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. 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 David's command of the form by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, and now and forever. For Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, look not on our sins but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And with and your spirit. To talk to one another at the time.
have a continuing effect in our minds and hearts through Christ's dying. Amen. But to hear that hymn, love is his word, they said, um, that was the hymn that Adam and Mary had at the wedding, which is why it's lovely for Jesus to say it for us today. Don't think there are any special notices this morning. Any young people we have with us who please help yourself to an egg that was some left over from last week. They're on the table at the back, so do please take one as you go if you would like to. The new copies of um, Word of Life are available also beginning on the 1st of May, so thank you copies of that. I think that's everything I need to mention. Mass here as usual, Tuesday and Thursday, and Monday and on Friday. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. That is ended. Go in peace. Alleluia. Alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia. Alleluia. The anthem to Our Lady. Joy to thee, O Queen of Heaven. Alleluia. He whom you were meet to bear. Alleluia. As you promised, has arisen. Alleluia. All for us to cause your prayer. Alleluia. Rejoice and be glad to every Mary. Alleluia. For the Lord is risen in me. Hallelujah.